Good morning, Capstone students. I'm going to take up a little bit of time now and go over the learning objectives and what I'll be looking for for the final grading of your project. And I'm going to do this in short video segments so you can just review each one as you need to. The first uh, learning objective listed on your final grading rubric is student must demonstrate the ability to communicate technical issues related to computer information technology. All right, so how do I determine that you can communicate? Well, I'm, I look at your explanation of the project to the client, the organization, and the writing of the paper, that you have a clear proposal, analysis, and design. So when you break that down, I have, and I'm looking to the side, looking at the chart of how I've grade. <laughs> so you can get 20 points for this area. Um, 0 to 10 means your paper's not organized, meaning you don't have headings, don't have appropriate headings, you don't have page numbers. So those are things I'm looking for. Um, you can get 11 to 15 points for average work, poorly written, still not really good organization. Maybe you have some, but you have a vague scope. Um, I'm really looking at grammar and sentence structure. Some of you are great on it, some of you are horrible. And if you have any doubt, please use the Writing Center to read through your project and help you correct run-on sentences, misspelled words, misplaced punctuation or no punctuation. Um, I'm looking for well-written paper. Um, fully fleshed out with all the topics um, that we've worked through through the semester. I'm just looking for the well-rounded paper and that you can communicate clearly, not too technical, so that it goes over the head of the average client. Um, and again, let me emphasize if I have not, just because you have made really good on the individual parts as you've turned them in through the semester does not mean necessarily that your final paper is a hundred. Also, this is your chance if you've not done as well on the individual parts turned in to enhance those so that it meets all the final paper requirements and you get a higher grade than you've been getting. So what I'm trying to tell you is those grades don't necessarily correlate. I look at the final project separately. It stands on its own. So the final project um, I'm looking for at this point, learning objective one is tied directly to the paper that you turn in at the end. Organized as you think is the best for your project. Page number, title page. Um, any references that you might need to list. All those things come into that first learning objective. Stay tuned for the next one.